For those of you who don't understand how to play the flashback game for the share game based assessment. In this video, I'm going to show you how to play the flashback game step by step. Now, it is very important for you to understand the instructions given for each level in order for you to play this game successfully. Now, for this level, level 1, and the upcoming levels, the instructions given here are the upcoming levels are one back. Decide if the shape matches that from one step earlier in the sequence. Now, the phrase from one step earlier in the sequence is very, very important in order for you to play this game successfully. So now I'm going to show you how to do the matching as I pause, you know, in between each sequence. So without further ado, let's continue. Now, this is the first shape that is shown to us. We are asked to memorize this shape. As you can see, this is an hexagon because it has six sides. In order for you to memorize this shape, note that we have uh, this uh, yellow, yellow side of this hexagon here, this yellow side. Now, note the position of this, of this uh, yellow side. I'm going to call it yellow band or yellow stripe, I don't know. But throughout this video, I'm going to use uh, you know, yellow band to refer to this uh, yellow side of the, of the hexagon. So this yellow side of the hexagon is going to keep changing as you are being shown the next image. So the most important thing is for you to memorize the position of this yellow band. Now, let's continue. As you can see, the yellow band is here. So just take note of the position where it is. Now, the next shape. In the next shape, the position of the yellow band changed. It changed from here to here. So, the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? Now, the, the previous shape, in the previous shape, the position of the yellow band was in that side of the hexagon, and now it moved to the side. So, it does not match, you know, the previous shape. So, we're going to, you know, choose no. So, click on no. Next. The yellow band moved to the top side of the hexagon. And now the question again is, does this shape match the previous shape? Now, the, the previous shape here is not the first shape. It's referring to the shape before this one. So, the previous shape before this one, this current one on the screen right now, the previous shape before it is this so as you can see it does not match you know the previous shape the previous shape was here and now it is here the yellow band is at the top side of the hexagon now so let's click on no so next we have been shown another shape again and as you can see the shape moved from the top side of the hexagon, that is the, the yellow band moved from the top side of the hexagon to the side. So it changed. So the question again is, does this shape match the previous shape? Of course, it does not match the previous shape because the first, uh, I mean, the previous shape before this one was at the top side of the hexagon and now it is here. So we're going to click now so again we have this one here as you can see the shape did not change 
the yellow band remained in this position. It remained in the side of the hexagon. So it didn't change, unlike the previous ones. So now the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? So since it was here, and again, it is still here, that means it matched the previous shape. So as you can see, it's the same, similar. So we're going to click yes in this case. Now, we've been shown another image. As you can see, the, the yellow band is still in that same position, the third time. So the, 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 the previous two times it was here and the third time again is still here. So uh, the question again is, does this shape mark the previous shape? So of course, as you can see, it has not changed. So the shape is still the same. So we're going to click our yes again. Now, unlike the previous shape, the yellow band has moved from here to the top side of the hexagon. But there's another thing that has been introduced into the, the shape. Notice the this blue band here in the inner hexagon. Now the blue band is another thing we need to take note of. So now the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? Of course it doesn't. Because first the yellow band was here in the previous shape and there was no blue band. And now we have a blue band and the yellow band is at the top. So of course now. So we're gonna click on now. Now, the, the yellow band has moved to the bottom side of the hexagon. And if you notice, in the inner hexagon, the blue band has moved to this side, as you can see. So now the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? Of course, it does not match the previous shape because in the, the previous shape, the yellow band was at the top of the hexagon and now it is at the bottom of the hexagon. And also the blue uh, band in, in the inner hexagon was, was at the top of the inner hexagon, but now it moved to this side. So the shape does not match in you know, all the previous shape. So we're going to click on now. Now, does this shape match the previous shape? Of course, no. Why? Because the yellow band was here and now it moved to the side. And the blue band was also here, but now it moved to the side. So it does not match the previous shape. So we're going to click on no. Now, did you notice that the blue band changed position, but the yellow band didn't change. So this is kind of tricky, so trying to confuse you. So the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? Well, for the yellow band, it matches, but for the blue band, it does not. So because the blue band moved from here to here, why the yellow band remained in the same position? So. If you're not you know, careful enough, you might click yes, but it doesn't. So we're going to click no. Now, notice this now. Uh, the yellow band has moved to the top side of the hexagon. And the blue band moved from here to here. Now the question is, does this shape match the previous shape? Of course, no. So, we're going to click no. So, that's the end of the, the level 1 to 21. Now, the next uh, level, the instructions are, the upcoming levels are two back. That is two step back. Decide if the shape matches that 
from two steps you know, earlier in the sequence. The phrase from two steps earlier in the sequence is very important. You know, unlike the first uh, you know, level, that's a level 1 to 21, where we only you know, memorize one step earlier, this time around we're going to memorize two shapes you know, earlier. And then we we'll memorize their shape and then match it with the current one being, uh, that is shown to us on the screen. So without further ado, let's continue. I will show you how to do that. Now, notice the first shape, you know, shown to us in this uh, image. As you can see, we are asked to memorize this shape. So the first thing you need to do is to note the position of the yellow band. Note the position of the yellow band and uh, memorize where it is. Now let's move to the next shape. Now the second shape, you notice it moved from here to here. That's from here to the top side of the hexagon. So also memorize this, the, the, this also. And then now we are going to move to the next step and then we are required to remember the two steps earlier, that's this and this, and then we will match it with anyone that, you know, match, you know, the, the two earlier steps. So now let's uh, continue. Now, the question is, does this shape match the one shown two shapes back? If you remember, the first shape that was shown to us had, uh, you know, had the the yellow band at this side of the hexagon, and then the second shape that was shown to us had the yellow band at the top side of the hexagon. Now we are being shown this shape, which has the yellow band at this side of the hexagon, which matches the first shape that was shown to us. So that means it matches. So we're going to click on yes, it matches. You know. So now we have the next shape. Now, if you recall, the first shape was here. That's the first shape we asked to memorize was here. And uh, the second one was here. And then we're shown here, uh, one image here again. The two previous shape, we have the yellow band here. We also had the yellow band here. So now we ask, you know, if the this shape here, this uh, yellow band, yeah, matches the two previous shapes. So if you recall, it was here and here. So this matches the previous shape. So we're going to click on yes. Now, if you recall again, the previous two shapes before this current one was here first and then here. Which is which is the one immediate? I mean, after this, uh, before this one. So, here and here. So now, the yellow band move has moved to the side. So the question is, does this match the one shown two shapes back? Of course, no, it doesn't. So we are going to click on no because it does not match either this or this. So, click on no. Now, as you can see, the yellow band has moved to the top side of the hexagon. If you remember the previous two shapes in our back, it was here, that's the top, and this side, which is the one just before the, this one. So, of course, it matches, you know, the two shapes back. So we're going to click on yes.
Now, if you recall again, two shares back, it was here, and the one just before this one was here. So, this one now, currently, you know, this current uh, image on the screen now matches the first one, you know, that's if you go two, uh, two shapes back, it matches this one, if you recall. So, the question now is, does this shape match the one shown two shapes back? Yes, it matches. So, we're going to click on yes. So, again, if you recall, the, the two shapes in our back, we had this one and then this one, which is the one just before this one. So, now, as you can see, this matches the one of the two shapes back. So, we're going to click on yes in this case so because it matches uh, the two shades back so now as you can see the the shape has moved out that as the yellow band has moved from here to here and if you recall two shape back it was here and then move to here so it came back to here uh, it's back to here again so it matches you know the the the, the two shape back so we're going to click on yes again <laughs> this time around the yellow band has moved to the side of the hexagon so the first uh the two shape back was here and here but this one does not match either of them so we're gonna click on no so click on no now it's back to this position again so if you recall the two shades back yeah, it was here and here so as you can see it matches the two shades back that if you go back you know to the first you know shape before this one so we're going to click on yes now it moved back again to the side of the hexagon so we're being asked if it matches the two shapes back yes of course it matches the two shape back so we're going to click on yes again so game completed so guys that's how to play this uh, flashback game I hope I I I was able to explain this in a, in a way that everyone can understand please like this video and also subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video thank you bye